currently the tallest edifice here in Metro Manila. It's a Gramercy residence. I know the developer for this particular building is 73 floors. Century properties. with their intelligence. As far as I know, this is around. So, grammar scene. I am now here in Century City. Oh. And this is the Trump Tower of Manila. how it looks. Now we are on the main entrance of the Central That is Gramercy on this side. So this is the interior of Century Mall. So, uh, so there are familiar places designed. Let's uh, check around. Kung ano yung babagay sa ating budget at sigmura. Okay. Oh, this is again Mary Grace. It is a very good location right in the middle. Wow, the Mary Grace here is so cute. Look at that. And there is Biblia for various prey on books. Mm -hmm. 
Wanted to check if uh, the place is really authentically fabulous. Is your comfort room nila? It's floor to ceiling. These are real nachos and real popcorn. Creative, ano? Napakayuti kaya. The place is theaters. Oh, di ba? Oh. Iyan din yung aking nachos galing sa taters. Diniliver na dito. Sabi dito, enjoy! So, the coffee roaster place where I'm in is Tobis Estate. I understand that their coffees came from down under so uh, yeah, their coffees that's uh, what the barista told me comes from Australia let's check on that it's the place where they get their coffee is Wulumolo Wulumolo okay so that's the information that we need to know from this coffee. So there are around more than 10 branches all over Metro Manila. Ang uh, coffee shop na to. Banana bread loaves and my cookies. At uh, ayon po yung order ko sa taters just been delivered to me. So okay. Ito na lang at uh, kwento ko na lang sa inyo mami yung bata ako na bigo sa pagpunta ko rito. Hello sa lahat ng uh, awesomes all over the globe and especially sa aking mga kababayan, mga awesomes din na nagkalat sa buong daigdig. Ako po ay uh, nagbabalik, uh, di ba, kumbaga. Yes, I um, would like to discuss the last 
picture on the video that uh, you have seen. Uh, yung po ay uh, picture na kuha some years ago when I was still an employee of uh, that uh, vertical development way back. At uh, katabi yun nung ano, katabi yun nung uh, Century Properties Development dun sa area na ito yung binablog natin which is uh, uh, the Gramercy, Trump Tower as well as your nice bridges in the area which is uh, what we know as um, Century City. So, yung pong um, land development na yun, company uh, which I represent, andun lang din, but kanina, kaya po uh, humabol ako ng kwento because my, uh, my plan in mind before I went there is to drop by uh, yung famous na yun na bar doon na during its uh, time talagang uh, sabi nga nung guard Sir, para saan po yung uh, inyong uh, uh, kinukunan? Pinuwento ko sa kanya, sabi ko, uh, sabi ko I was a former employee of this company. Tapos ito nga, ganun. Sabi niya, alam niyo po, sir, ang dami nagtatanong sa akin ng tungkol dyan. Hinahanap nila yung bar na yan dahil nga po, uh, nasa na daw. At uh, kinuwento ko sa kanya, sabi ko, hindi mo ba alam na nung araw sikat ito, yung, yung parking ng uh, mga kotse mula dito hanggang dyan sa unahan pa, papunta na sa San Miguel Village. At ang sabi niya, totoo po yun sir, yun po ang sabi ka sa akin nung uh, mga naunang guard dito, yung mga senior sa akin. Ganun nga daw, kasi kat yung lugar na yun nung araw, hindi ko na inabutan, pero kwento na lang. Kaya lang po hanggang ngayon, ang dami dito yung mga magagara yung kotse nila, pati mga naka-sports car daw, ay uh, nagtatanong pa rin tungkol sa lugar from time to time. So yun, inagrihan ko siya at uh, na ganun nga yung kasikat yung lugar ng araw. And uh, that picture that you saw there, ay uh, doon po yun po ha, when uh, it was still open. And it, let's, let, uh, and uh, it let me feel sad because I plan ko doon ako uh, mag-dinner plus uh, uh, some wine or a bottle of pilsen. But uh, yun nga, yun, nagulat ako nila, bakit ganun na siya? At uh, it feels sad dahil po, of course, we know that uh, uh, pandemic uh, came to us, came to the global citizens of the whole world and it, it affects the economy and it, it affects businesses. And of course, since um, uh, my, uh, my boss, which owns that company, are still very, that, that is their uh, first uh, development project. So, talagang, uh, at yung bar na yun, uh, as far as I know, cost them half a billion pesos just to have that um, uh, bar uh, erected and operated. At uh, sobrang ang dumating ang pandemic at uh, I don't know what happened during the time because hindi lang tayo nakakalabas noon. I just, uh, of course, went back the went back i just went back there earlier so i saw it again and i was really surprised sad and surprised of uh, what i saw but uh, prayer ko that um the company will be able to bounce back at um yun maka, makabawi makabawi man uh, because the economy has just opened diba? just this year and uh, i guess just around three months ago na talagang uh, yung restrictions ay na, na sa ano na lang na sa uh, restriction number one na lang yata tayo. So, magandang sinyalis na yan na makabalik ang economy as well as the businesses and uh, especially the the hospitality business as well as um, as yung kung uh, uh, naranasan ko dun kanina. Actually, when I was uh, doing a video, I was surprised to see na wala akong video pa lang. Hindi ko pala naklik yun. Ang, ang haba-haba pa ng kwento. But, of course, it will be a little dark. Kasi pinakita yung, yung pond development na mahabang-mahaba. If you'll be able to pass by that area, and then po yung uh, billboard ng, ano, ng development, hindi ko na babanggitin. Plus, yun na rin po, yung mismong uh, bar na yun. Uh, may iba na siyang pangalan, but originally, that was not the name. And it just uh, saddens me and surprises me na yun na po yun. 
but with a hope in uh, my uh, in my heart that uh, it will be able to recover. So uh, that's all for now, and I'll see you on my next vlog. Okay, so and thank you for uh, continually staying and supporting this channel.